Hey guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you the OBS best setting for recording uh, 1080p with 60fps. This is the OBS studio I'm using right now. So go for the settings and in the settings go to general and in the general if you want to change your language either than English then you can choose or select the language to English or theme it's completely up to you. If you want to choose the dark you can choose the dark or use the default setting. The stream doesn't matter because it will it is for the uh, live streaming or not for the recording so simply go for the output and in the output mode select the advanced and then go for the recording and in the recording you have to select the type the standard and recording path it's completely up to you where you want to save your video after recording and the generate file name without space you can check this box if you want save after recording your files changes into name after without space and the recording format uh, you can use the mp4 for the windows user and if you are a mac user then go for the mov and for the audio track if you, have, if you have a more than one audio track you can select one two or three it's completely up to you and in coding you have to select the into 264 and check this uh, rescale output and change the scaling to 1920 by 1080p it will give you 19, 1080p uh, video after recording and rate control check go for select the CRF and make the CRF 10 and keyframe 2 and CPU uses use the very fast or faster if you choose here slow or slower you, know, you will get the higher qu quality but uh, sometimes lag so I suggest you go for the fast or very fast because it's much more better and profile select the main and here right there if you are using the 264 option right the encoder then you have to type here open gel is equal to true okay you have to type here open gel is equal to true if you are using the into 264 format encoder right there and that's it go for the audio you have to select the audio device if it if you can choose the default or what the audio device you are using and for the mic you can also select the default option or you can choose the microphone and that's it for this for the audio and go for the video uh, okay if you select here in the output the 1920 into 1080 then you have in the video you have to also select the output output scale in 920 into 1080 and also the base canvas resolution 1920 into 1080 and for the fps select your 60 and you have to select the common fps value okay and in the downscale filter you have to select the by cubic and that's it for the video and go for the hotkeys you can use the hotkeys you can make your hotkeys I'm within the control R for the recording start the recording and control S for the stop recording so you can make your own hotkeys and go for the advanced uh, process priority to the normal and render you can choose the OpenGL or the type 3d11 uh, it's completely up to you but I suggest to go for the direct 3011 and nothing to nothing to change here so that's it that's uh, and after recording you will get the uh, 1080p video with 60 fps so hope this video helps you guys and you like this video and if you really enjoyed this video then please subscribe and share my videos thanks for watching guys see you in the next video have a good day peace